You are watching Cold Fusion TV. So just the other day there was a video posted about a new type of battery that can actually charge your phone in 30 seconds. So I know you're thinking, oh this kind of sounds a bit familiar, I've heard this before. But this time there's an actual video of the real life prototype. So I already posted this on my Google Plus page, but for the benefit of everyone, I decided to make a quick video on this. Let's check out what's going on. So far on this channel, we've featured two very different approaches to making your battery last longer. The first, the supercapacitor approach. The state of the art was advanced by an 18 year old school student. And the second approach, just better efficiency. And this was done by Amprius. Out of these two solutions, only Amprius has made it to the level where no other company before them has. And by this, I mean production and financial backing from a smartphone manufacturer. If you want, you can click on the screen right now to find out more. There are countless other fringe, cutting-edge technologies such as graphene and solid-state silicon storage that just haven't made it out yet. But now Amprius isn't the only company that's gotten this far. There's now a new contender who has financial backing from a smartphone manufacturer and they have this demonstration that we're about to see. The latest company to enter the race this time round is Storedot. And I mean race in a literal sense. It literally has become a race now. A race to solve the final hurdle in our newly mobile lives. The more we go mobile, the more prize money there is sitting at the end of the finishing line. Storedot have a new type of organic battery that was actually developed from the most unlikely of sources. It came from the search for a cure for Alzheimer's disease. CNN had an interview with CEO Doran Meyersdorf, and they have more on the story. The Israeli company behind the video and its founder and CEO Doran Meyersdorf tells me the technology was born out of research being conducted in the search for a cure for Alzheimer's at Tel Aviv University. And uh, during that research, uh, these uh, specific amino acids uh, were isolated and uh, we uh, managed to use those amino acids and peptides and create nanocrystals. We call them nanodots. Uh, these nanocrystals have these special properties uh, that ena enable us to uh, use them in, in various devices, such as a battery. Storedot's nanodots are used in both the electrode and the electrolyte. And according to Storedot, the electrical properties of these nanodots allow the electrode to charge much more rapidly while still discharging at a similar rate to lithium ion batteries. And the best part is that it's cheap. It's made from naturally occurring organic compounds. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Let's see this in action. I'm gonna play it in real time. Mind you, that thing on the back of that Galaxy S3 is the battery. So it's just a matter of plugging it in and away we go. So as you can see, it's pretty cool, it does work. But of course, we're not completely home free yet, there's still a couple of snags. As you can see, the size of the battery needs to go down a lot. The aim is, within the next year or so, to get the battery small enough to fit into your average smartphone. And we're fully charged. That was actually pretty quick. The race for a better battery is now officially on. There are now two companies, to my knowledge, that have financial backing from a major smartphone manufacturer with a serious shot at a mass-produced, better battery. All right, so that's the latest news. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed that, don't forget to give a thumbs up, share your thoughts below, and pass it on to a friend if you found it interesting. And there is a special announcement coming up. The one-click install app for the Voxus launcher is in alpha right now, and testers will be needed next week. More news on that soon. Cold Fusion. It's me thinking.